Oh, there's one on the boat. There's one here, about six feet deep. Why'd you pull so soon? Are you kidding me? Something yanked back. Did it? No. Got him? Yep. Oh my god! Oh my gosh, it's a freaking nice chrome fish, dude. Got it! Ah, oh, finally! What's up all you addicts out there? Thanks so much for tuning in. This is actually something a little special. We're doing a three part series and we're calling it Addicted Dreams. And we're doing that because look who we got in the building today. Konnichiwa fishes. <laughs> Konnichiwa. This is Oliver Nye with Big Bass Dreams. If you guys haven't checked out Big Bass Dreams, we're gonna make sure we link it down in the description below. But we got a few goals on this, on this whole little adventure. We're gonna try to get a tiger muskie. We're gonna try to get him a coho on a twitching jig. We're gonna try to get a sturgeon. So stay tuned guys. Let's see if we can make all these things happen. We're excited that you guys are tuned in. Do not forget, tap that subscribe button. Coho coming up next. Oh, watch your feet, 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 hold on, watch your nuts. <laughs> I saw the line going right between your legs, I was like, that's all bad. Yeah, boy. Blurple, blurple. Look at that, thank you, nice head. Nice head, hatchery fish, stuck right in the beak. Twitch yeah. your mouth on the top. I'm the wrong person though, that should have been Oliver's fish. Nice. Nice head. Really kind of interesting color on her. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? I'm twitching along attics and I thought I had another fish. It turns out it's a quantum. And this is what you get with quantum, guys. <laughs> well, you think? Wow. All right, addicts, we came out. We actually did conquer. We ended up getting one coho twitching. Unfortunately, Oliver didn't hook one, but that's the way the freaking cookie crumbles. We gotta go catch some damn muskie. So we're running out of time. And would you say 3.30 to 6.30, you think that's the window? Yeah, just because that's what we got to work with today. Exactly, so. exactly. So we're gonna go head up, head up to the local lake, see if we can't get a tiger muskie. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, man, we're pulling out the big guns. I thought I had put them away for this season coming off the Big Musty Dreams tour, but apparently there's a pretty unique opportunity to catch my first tiger. So we've got some heavy artillery here. This is the uh, TS Destroyer, rated to like 26 ounces. Nice blackjack ogre, what I used to think was extremely heavy ridiculous rods for bass fishing have actually turned out to be really nice rods for monkeys. So we're gonna pull these bad boys out, get them rigged up, and uh, chase some big toothies. Alright, made it. Where are they gonna be dude? Did you figure it out yet? They're gonna be in the water. <laughs> Shout out to Burgerville for making amazing, delicious food that will keep us energized out on the water. <laughs> More big sticks. Big baits, thick lines, hopefully heavily tiger-striped weights. All right, open hatch, boys. Don't step backwards. You said you wanted to fish a topwater? Yeah. Oh my God, yes. Can you tie this one on, brother? This one's good to go. Did you already tie it on? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, put that one on. <laughs> oh my god, look at that thing. <laughs> that thing looks like a spawfish? Yes, that thing does. Oh my god. I, I 
knew it looked like a squat fish. I just wanted to have a see it. So if you guys take a look here, I've got gear that I actually use for like big inshore game fish. 100 pound braid, 80 pound on the lighter cases. Uh, we've hooked 100 plus pound bluefin tuna on these things. These are big, powerful fish. You gotta have the right gear. They, they call muskies the fish of 10,000 casts. And I honestly feel like that's quite a bit optimistic. People underestimate how much big predatory fish actually feed on birds in my opinion and uh, through the content you're gonna see on both the big bass streams channel and the addicted channel hopefully today we're gonna open up some eyeballs oh there's one under the boat yeah i see him he's too right, late i see him i see him there's one here he's about six feet deep he's about a three footer he's not very big but i do 100 percent see one in the grass in the, weeds. in the grass is five feet so he right wasn't up here, very big but he was definitely big enough right up here there's a whole huge yep. patch of that was, weeds okay. and grass now we're in the game now we're in the game have you guys seen these guys this giddy and excited before well i haven't this is pretty epic i used the potential out of big big fish you guys might not appreciate it because I, I was guilty of the same back at home, but you guys live in a pretty awesome part of the country. Look at this. Except for the water falling out of the sky all the time part. That kind of sucks. Alright, Attic, so it is kind of weird because this is salmon season. This is salmon weather. This is definitely salmon temperature outside. And I just feel like I'm just fishing the wrong bait for salmon right now. So we're gonna keep cruising along. We're covering some ground. It's kind of nice having three of us just bombing baits for big fish right now. So we definitely can cover them, but uh, yeah, it's uh, the conditions are definitely uh, a little wet. Oh look, there's a duck flying by. It just, it just flew by it went back. I went back home. <laughs> All right, so we got a lot of rain. Sun's starting to set a little bit. Uh, we're gonna make an adjustment, get some blades in the water, skirt, bigger profile, dark color, a little bit different than what I've been throwing, a little bit different than what Marlon's been throwing. And Cam, just think of this as a giant inline spinner for coho. <laughs> Except when they bite it, swing on. Cork, cross his eyes, huh? Is that a bite? No, I'm hitting the bottom. There's like a shelf there. Just kidding! There's one. Musky fishing is as easy as it is in Washington as it is in all the other states. Yeah, right? And we got out here at 3.30. 3.30 we got out here, yeah. It's 6.27 now, so you not really get too much of a window no. to learn anything, but uh, we two hours. Some good looking stuff, man. At least we got one coho. Yeah. Tomorrow is going to be better. I got a good feeling about it. That <laughs> could be worse. No, man, this is dope. I had a good time. New lake, new body of water, the anticipation, like just knowing that they swim in here. And there's big ones. 50 class in, uh, 50 inch class muskies for trophies. Yeah. So, yeah. This is, how it really, this is how it really goes down. Yeah, just get ready for the day. Just having fun here. I don't even know what's going on. Crying sick. Do it. What's going on, addicts? Day two here, out with Oliver. And typical of how the Pacific Northwest is, we got like five inches of rain last night. So this is what the water looks like. The river that we were gonna fish blew out, so we had to morph. So we're gonna try to get up above this mud and see if we can see if we can catch some coho. We're gonna try to catch some sturgeon. We're just gonna really just see what happens. So wish us luck. Thanks for tuning in again. We appreciate it. Do not forget, we got a link to Oliver's channel down in the description below if you guys want to check it out. He has some insane stuff. 
One video that I'm also gonna link down below, he catches, a, it's a bluefin, right? On top water? Oh, yeah, we do some of that. He catches a bluefin tuna on a top water like stick bait. It's incredible. I'll put a link down below so you guys can all check it out. But thanks so much for tuning in. Wish us luck. We got Jordan running the T-Rex behind us. <laughs> Let's go try to find some fish. So I am makeshifting a drift sock. Dude, <laughs> look at that. That's a genius. <laughs> it's working great. What is it? My drift sock. Homemade? Fred Meyer basket. Who knew? New design. The addicted drift sock. <laughs> Over, let him sit the hook on it. Why'd you pull so soon? Bro! It didn't go anywhere, don't worry. Are you kidding me? It's not okay, good. Go, go. Ooh, the hook in hand. I got you. That was exciting. I'm gonna go back to catching nothing again. Alright, addicts. We suck at fishing. How many times have you guys heard me say that throughout all these Addicted Life episodes? Quite a few. Oliver's like, is there anyone else in the Northwest I can come collab with? Hit him up. You guys want to get Oliver out and actually have him catch some fish, you guys should hit him up on Instagram. <laughs> oh, I hate my life right now, but we're going to try to make a move here. Head up river and actually just target some salmon water and see if we can actually find some salmon. The sturgeon, I don't think there's very many of them in this little section. So we're going to run up, see if we can't find some salmon. Stay tuned. This episode has been extremely boring so far. So thanks for watching this much as you have. Pulling out of this mud mess, and we're going to the next mud mess. So stay tuned. Cameron calls us with a hot report. So lucky enough, we have other rivers to go to. We're gonna. Well, we already loaded the boat up. Now we're gonna haul butt down to the next river, about an hour away, and see what happens. Sometimes this is what you got to do. Just got to freaking pivot, move to other places, try to find them. That's what we're doing. The juice. Oh yeah. Look at that. Feeling pretty good about my odds of snagging the bottle. Maybe catching a fish, we'll see. But I like it. Hopefully they like white, chartreuse, black, or purple. They ain't stacked, guys. Lies, Cam lied to us. Come on, Sean. Come on. Give me a big old fat V run. Something yanked back. Did it? No. <laughs> oh, you said something. Give me something. Just one jerk waiting for another jerk. There you go. Stick on. Got him? Yep. Dude, I think it's a little bigger than it's wanting to show. Oh, oh my he looks cool. God. He, no, he looks like he's got a nasty tail. Yeah, he does. He's got a gross tail, dude. Yeah. Oh my God, at the net. <laughs> I didn't hit him. No, I said right at the net. Oh, he broke. His teeth cut it, yeah. That was all of 20 for sure. But he was dirty. His tail was rotten. That was not dirty. That was chrome as why are those coho not biting? It doesn't make sense, dude. These freaking bee runners should be all over these jigs. They just do not want to bite them. I don't understand it.
Because a lot of the fish we're going to catch up here too. Or oh, not. like that one? That a boy are not chrome. He's yeah, not. I was literally just going to say, <laughs> a lot of the fish we're going to catch up here are not going to be chrome. Nice and job, Oliver. Right right down there. Down there. Oh, there's a bunch of them right there. Nice job, buddy. That was cool. We can keep two per person no matter what. So, you know, if you just hold tight, I'll hop back. Good looking fish, huh? Oh my gosh, it's a freaking nice chrome fish, dude. Got the new Okuma X spoon rod here in action. Oh, you got him on the spoon? On the spoon, baby. <laughs> Stay here with me, baby. Nope. You don't want to. Say hi, Jordan. Oh, oh dang. Jordan, come look at this fish and tell me it doesn't look like an Alaska fish. That's an Alaska fish. Look at that fish, guys. Right in the corner of his freaking mouth. Look at that thing. I'm gonna let him go just because I don't want to risk the miss clip. So we're gonna let this guy go. We'll, we'll catch more. See you later, buddy. All right, Attic. So I got this Okuma X rod here, and basically what I have is some 30 pound P line braid on the Okuma Helios reel. And we're testing out these new X rods. This is the spoon model. So this is a 9.9, what what's the rating? I can't even remember. Eight to 15. It's really, really nice for spoons. And then I got a P-line spoon here with a Siwash hook. And what I've done is just like we teach you guys, we drop that thing back with a swivel and got a size two aught Mustad hook on there. And basically what you're doing, now that these guys are corking me out of my spot, just low holing me. Of course, now I'm tangled. I'm going to show you guys here once I get untangled what we're doing here. Okay, got the untangledness going on here. Pretty much what I'm doing. So this, I got a two-fifths on right now. I, I should be using a little heavier, like a two-thirds. But basically what you're doing is you're letting it go up. I'm casting upriver a little ways. And then I'm going to let that sink down into that hole. And I'm going to twitch it just like a jig. As it gets down there. But you don't want to pick up much line because that spoon has a tendency to grab that current so it's fluttering a lot. So if you reel too much, you just pick up way too much line and your spoon ain't down in that strike zone. That's how I caught that last fish and we're gonna keep working it down the rest of the way once Jordan gets those stupid eggs out of the hole. I know a lot of people as they get it down in there then they'll kind of reel the spoon in slow. After I've kind of swung it through and twitched it, I just reel it back in and make my cast again usually. The only reason I'm throwing eggs is because like I told you, I want to catch a I just had one. <laughs> ah. You wigging out over there, dude. Take it's because this is my favorite river and my favorite fishery, and like, I'm just so excited to be here. Oh my god. See that, Alex? That's how it's done. Ow. Oh, it's a freaking fire truck. You did get him all. Oh! Oh, no. I was putting too much pressure on him. That was my fault. Oh, my God. That's all right. He was a fire truck. Chrome or die. Look at them all coming up right here, Sean. There's a bunch of fish coming up on this far inside. Snub me. All right, I'm gonna let this go down in there. Let this really sink down into the hole this time. Yeah, it's deep in there. Oh my God, I had one. Oh my gosh, addicts. I'm gonna say it, I think I like Coho. I think I like Twitch and Coho more than I like Steelhead. Can that even be a thing? Probably not, I'm lying to myself. But it's, it's up there for sure. 
Oh, oh, he just freaking missed it. <laughs> that was sick. He was chasing it? Dude, he freaking bit it. Like 20 feet away. That was the coolest bite. <laughs> all right, they like the fancy stuff. Yep. All right, all They like right. expensive lures. They like the expensive. There he is, got him! Yes! And he's red, just like he said. So, <laughs> somebody's gonna have to help me. Let's see if we can do this. The old before you hit the bank challenge. Can he do it without breaking his rod? Land in the fire truck on the R&B spinner. Come on. Cool. Oh, oh god, he chased it so far. Got him, you punk! Right in front of my spinner. I just got a bite from him. Oh, what's going on here? That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is what we like to call the Coho Death Roll. Oh, I just had a double. Dang it! Sorry guys, I'm really screwing this up. That's a really nice buck, dude. Damn it. I think how he's gonna do that. That's it. Boat flip. Oh! oh that was stupid. I thought you were gonna hold him up. I was gonna boat flip him. Yeah. There he is, dude. Made a Look at this wow. guy. Sean, can you get a still for me, dude? Get a get a picture of me. Get the slow mo. Let him go. That's how you handle a wild stick, dude. Fish? Oh my god, he came off. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Even moved my split shot up. That's how you know it was a big one. Okay, Sean, here we go. Oh my god. What kind of a lame upriver hook set was that? Oh, get him! Oh my god. That's like four in a row, dude. I'm thinking to myself, the whole time I'm going through there, I'm like, God, I wonder if it's bottom, and it keeps going down, and then that time, I let it go down, and I just kind of lift my rod tip, and it starts head shaking. Not a good feeling, is it? Story of my life. Oh, come on and eat it already. Just toying with it. And me, and my heart. Got him! Oh, finally! <laughs> I wonder how many times I got bit by that same fish, maybe. Oh, <laughs> crumpsicle. Crumb diddly. Little crummy? Crummy. Oh, little guy. No wonder you're missing us. Little jack bite. Another little hatchery bat. Always seen today, which is awesome. Good to see some of these things coming in healthy. Oh! You just had one. Got it. I'm going to try the same bite. Same bite. I'm good. That was such a perfect offer down. Told me. All right, now. Jump, jump. Some clipped one. That's what it was. Felt like a wild fish. Beauty. Great little guy. Good little buddy. Thank you. Get more eggs. Got him. Big one. Somebody's gonna probably have to take this. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's a Chinook, I bet. Oh, just kidding. Here we go, America, here it comes. Oh! What? Just dime. He lights her butt. Dumb dude. Pick face. Yeah. 
how you get them there. Right there. Like that. Jeez. Talk to me, what are you doing there? I'm just cutting its gills so that it can bleed all that blood out of the meat for us. Kind of cleans it up a little bit. That blood's the first thing to sour. How, uh, how would you rate table fare on these fish? That's a 10 out of 10 right there. Kind of like your typical, almost your typical fishery, your medium sized male. It's always going to eat the best. Oh. <laughs> grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh, man. Just reel it to the tip, Marlin, and just snag him. Get him. Grab him. I got him. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. That's dedication, everybody. <laughs> oh, my God. We lost okay, that go. fish. <laughs> we weren't going to let him go. Good job, everyone. Good teamwork. <laughs> we left a good hole. We weren't gonna just let some freaking fish we killed die. So we did it. Almost broke some rods doing it. But we got it back. Mission accomplished. Hi time. Woo. All right, addicts. You guys just witnessed a complete crap show that just happened upriver. But we got the fish, so that was good, right, Gordon? That was great. That was like we prevailed. You guys heard some cussing, I'm sure, some panic, some chaos, but we got him. We got him. It's been a freaking amazing day. I don't know how many fish we've hooked. I don't but either. It's been really fast paced. Super awesome day. I'm glad you guys got to experience this with us. Thanks so much for tuning in. And do not forget, make sure you go down below and check out Oliver's channel. He's got some awesome content on his YouTube channel as well. So check it out. Click that link. Tap that subscribe button if you haven't on our channel. And stay tuned. We're going to catch a couple more co, I think, before this is over. Jordan, you should probably egg this. Anchor. What, down, just wait till we get down a little bit. See how that comes off that tree right there? Right where he just landed. Literally, that you should egg that. Damn it. Oh my god, Sean, you got that, right? Totally bottom. You would have seen that Marlon, you'd have pooped your pants. Dude, I just fucking had one right there too. What do you guys do with these guys all the time? <laughs> Look at that. We've been marinating these elk steaks all day. There's Benny Hanna's up in here. <laughs> Blend. Pretty excited about this. The gloves really, you know, set it off. Accentuate the flavor. Yeah. Bring out the subtle tones of egg. Addicts, I wish you were here eating some elk steak with us right now. It's bomb. We got some backstrap here, some tenderloin. That tenderloin's freaking fire. Just next level. That could not sound too shabby either. Oh my god. Well everybody, we sure appreciate you tuning in to this episode of Addicted Life once again. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> spray in the face here. This fish is about to say sayonara too. Be sure you guys, if you liked today's episode, go down here and comment below what you thought. If you had fun with us, watching us get kicked in the face by fish all day. Again, if you guys haven't already, go to Oliver's page, Big Bass Dreams, Addicted Dreams was a total success. Again, we appreciate you guys a ton tuning in. Be sure to drop a little comment below with what you thought of today's episode. Stay fishy and we'll see you guys out there.